Hi guys, welcome back to Dee and Doug Retire. How are you? I'm well, and I hope you are well as well, as well, as well. Oh, anyway, my sister Lisa, here you go, right here, who used to live in Pennsylvania, now lives in Florida, and I miss her, uh, called me up and said, Denise, did you ever hear of bio coffee before? And I said, no, I've never heard of it before. You must get it, she said, you must. I said, why? She goes, because it has three to five servings of vegetables per cup of coffee. That intrigued me, my friends. I have to tell you that intrigued me. So I went on Amazon and I purchased it. This is what it looks like. Hello. There are 12 packets in here because they ask you to take a 12 day challenge. Here it is, right here. And what intrigued me the most is that it said it was good for you with for probiotics and prebiotics for your gut. So I went, hmm, that sounds interesting. What are the ingredients? So let me tell you, I have to take off my glasses to tell you the ingredients and stuff. Okay, Arabica, Arabica coffee powder, non-dairy creamer, a glucose syrup with tapioca starch and vegetable fat from palm oil, something called ogly, a sh I don't know, from chicory root and wheatgrass powder. Put one sachet in an eight ounce cup, pour hot water and stir. Okay, store in a cool dry place. Now, of course I went online and I had to look and I went on Amazon to purchase it. Well, for these 12 packs, it's 19, like 97. So it better hold up to the name. Now it's a 12 day challenge. So I'm going to drink it for 12 days. Now I know that wheatgrass is fabulous for everybody. And I've seen people do shots of wheatgrass. I've tried that. I, I don't like the flavor. So I figured I'm gonna make this in front of all of you and then I'm gonna taste it. And then I'm going to see if I like the flavor. Now my sister, Lisa, hello Lisa, I know you're watching, said to me, Denise, it's the cross between coffee and hot chocolate. Really? So hopefully it has a pleasant taste, but I'm gonna let you know because I'm gonna make it in front of all of you. So I have my big D mug. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in here. Should be interesting. We don't want that. Oh, it's like a hot cocoa mix. The color of it. Mmm, I can smell, I smell this. Mmm. It smells like a mix of like a hot cocoa mix. It doesn't smell bad. It does not smell bad. Of course, I already put it in the cup, but I'm smelling the wrapper, which I have to say should be tear proof, not scissor proof. Well, I'm giving my true review. Anyway, let's put the water in. Oh my gracious. All right. As you can tell, it's quite hot. Can you see the steam? Yeah, it's hot. But again, we're gonna have the aroma of it now. What do I smell? I smell like, I smell coffee, but it's more almost like a chocolate. Like, you know, um, like a mocha coffee. You know, with a chocolate in it. <laughs> you know what? Let me take a spoon because seriously, this thing is hot. I don't want to burn myself. So I'll take a little with the spoon and try it. Well, it's coffee. It tastes just like coffee. 
and I will tell you, it's not bad. It really isn't bad. It has a powdered dairy product in it already, but I think if you wanted to put maybe a little bit more milk in here or some sugar in here uh, or some Splenda, just to sweeten it up a little bit, you could do that too, but honestly, it's fine just the way it is. I got no problem with it. I really thought it would have like that wheatgrass taste, which if you've never tried it before, if you've never tried a shot of wheatgrass, you would know it leaves that type of grass taste in your mouth. But this doesn't, this is just a good cup of coffee. Now, some of you may be saying, hey D, is there caffeine in it? To be perfectly honest with you, you know me, I drink decaffeinated coffee. It's right over there. I drink my, all let me get it for you. This is the decaffeinated coffee I drink, just so that you can see. It's freeze-dried. It's freeze-dried, but it's good. So when I went online and I looked on face, not Facebook, on Amazon, and I looked at the thousands of the reviews that were there, and people were just like saying, oh, this is so, this is so great. I really love it. It's got a great taste. And really, honestly, it does. It's not like, oh, my God, you're going to walk away screaming into the night. And anything that has a serving of three to five vegetables in a cup, well, you knew that was going to turn me on because I'm like, yeah, veggies are really important for you. And of course, for your digestive system and also fiber. We all know what fiber is for. Need I have to tell you this? I don't think I do. But it's important for us to aid in any kind of digestion. And also with alkaline, it's a very alkaline not or alkaline to bring all the alkalines back into your body. So it is filled with stuff. And you can read about it on Amazon. And maybe you'll go and take a 12-day challenge. It says in the box, Bio Coffee is 100% organic, a specialized formula blend of Colombian coffee with green, hello, first day with the new tongue, uh, wheatgrass is the only alkaline coffee on the market, an instant drink, just add water, mixed, uh, and it tastes great. And I have to say, it really does. It doesn't have a bad taste. Like when you smell it, you think, am I drinking hot chocolate? Mm, it's not bad. Wheatgrass is one of nature's superfoods. It's equivalent to having three to five servings of green vegetables in one cup. But seriously, you can't go wrong with that. Bio coffee is an excellent source of fiber, providing six grams in every cup. A great prebiotic and probiotic provides chlorophyll, amino acids, minerals, um, vitamins, and enzymes. Well, you know what? You can't beat it. Drink at least one cup a day for 12 days in a row. Yes, you can have more if you like. And put your body on the path to optimal health. So it is a vegan product, of course. It is soy-free, it is dairy-free, it is gluten-free, and it is um, no GMOs, no GMOs. So it's not bad, I have to tell you. It has a really, really, a really, it's a different taste. It's not just like coffee, but seriously, four ingredients in one pack, how could you beat that? It's not bad. Now, I will do this for the 12 days, and I will come back after 12 days and tell you if I felt any different. Did my body feel bit? Did I go to the bathroom differently? You know, everything so that we can give it a true, true review. But let me put my glasses back on because I can't see you beautiful people. Here we go. Oh, here we are. And there you are. Oh, you're so beautiful. And um, we're going to give it a shot, and we're going to see how this works for 12 days. I have nothing to lose. I mean, oh, by the way, speaking of losing, just so that you all know, um, I have lost seven pounds in three weeks. So I told you I was going to do a plant-based journey, but not nutty loopy because I don't want to do stuff like that. I just don't. I get some recipes off of some friends I may see. But other than that, if I'm going out like I did a couple of nights ago and I went to my daughter's house, excuse me, I had chicken soup over there. I had some crackers there. So I wasn't going to be losing my mind, put it this way. You know, like you could possibly do on a diet and I'm not doing that anymore and I'm not doing it to myself anymore and I'm not doing it to my psyche. But the idea that this, this has 
three to five servings of veggies in here. You better believe it in one packet. It got me intrigued. So thank you to my sister, Lisa. And I will let you know every day I will drink it. And after 12 days, I'll come back and talk about it. But until the next time, my friends, be kind to one another. The heart is all that matters. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. Ring the notification bell because I don't know when I will be putting out another video. It's not like I'm any, I don't have a schedule as of yet. I really don't. I'm sorry. But um, if you like what you see, subscribe. Anyway, my friends, I will talk to you all so soon. Take it easy. And before I forget, oh, I hope you didn't leave. I also talked about that caffeine in here because I drink decaffeinated coffee. Honestly, 0 0.2. Two, five grams. It's nothing. It's like nothing when it comes to caffeine. Oh, and 77, oh, there goes my toast for my breakfast slash lunch. Um, 77 calories per cup of the coffee. All right, I'm out. I'll show you what I'm having. a roasted red pepper and hummus. I'll take a bite with all of you and then I'm going to sit down and finish this. Uh, it's a piece of pumpernickel bread toasted, but you must listen to the crunch. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. 